It's Trixie and today I would like to share the secret about a weird behavior with you that some people show speaking the German language. Some Germans tend to cutify what they say. They basically turn themselves into a German Ned Flanders. You know, this super religious guy with a moustache that lives next to Homer and his family. He always says things like hey diddly ho instead of just hello or neighbor Reno instead of neighbor. And the same way that Ned Flanders attaches diddly and doodly to what he says, some Germans have developed their very own habits of cutifying their native language. Since this is normally something that foreigners would not notice or simply be confused by, I will cast some light on this awkward topic today. How do you sound like Ned Flanders in German? Or how do Germans cutify their language? Learn more with me today. I will now present several cutified German words and phrases to you. Let's get started, okli dokli. Let's start with how Germans greet each other. You would normally say hallo. But for some people, that's too boring and they choose a cutified version of it. If you are one of these people, you could, for example, say Halli, hallo. Doesn't this sound way sweeter and more cheerful? What a great phrase to say hello to somebody showing this person that you are in a good mood. Another way to say hello in a cute version would be to use Hallöchen. For that you have to know that Chen and Lein are diminutives in German. Whenever you attach them to a word, it automatically becomes cutified. Maus, Mäuschen, Teller, Tellerchen, Herz, Herzchen, Nierenstein and Nierensteinchen. So Hallöchen is basically the cute little pet chihuahua of Hallo. But if that's not enough, you could also say Hallöchen mit Öchen. Or my absolute favorite, because it makes identifying annoying people quite easy. Hallöchen, Popöchen. Little hello, little butt. Of course, the same works with saying goodbye. Instead of just tschüss, you can say tschüsselchen. And I guess the extra el is just there to make it easier to pronounce. Another version would be tschüssikowski, because ooh, it's so much fun to make your bye sound like a Polish last name. And again, we have tschö mit ö and ciao mit au, because it rhymes. And when something rhymes, it is funny. And in case you don't want to say tschüss, but bis dann, until then, you could say bis danni. Just attach an E at the end of a word and it makes you smile automatically. Bis dann Another way to say goodbye in German would be to use Auf Wiedersehen. But that's not funny and that's not cute, so why don't we make it Auf Wiedersehen or just Wiedersehen? I admit that if you say Auf Wiedersehen quickly, it can sound a bit like Auf Wiedersehen or just Wiedersehen. Actually, actually no. But you know, the people I'm talking about mostly do that on purpose. Huh? Oh, what Wiedersehen means, you ask? It means Savoy cabbage finest German humor. Let's move on to how Ned Flanders would most likely say thank you in German. Instead of saying danke, which is pfft, just boring, you could again use danke. Whenever I give something back to a friend or whatever and the response is danke, I'm just like uh, bitty. But that's not even the worst. Instead of danke schön, you could also say schanke dün. Here's something that the German cutificators love to do. We'll have more example in the videos later. The first letter of two syllable switch. What a genius technique, I must say. So what about saying you're welcome? You may have seen it coming, but instead of saying bitteschön, you're welcome, you could also say schitteboon. See, I didn't promise too much. Here we have it again, the first letter of two syllable switch. Masterpiece. And Schitteburn is actually extra funny because Schitte is also a slang term for shit. Which sums up this whole trend of cutifying the German language pretty well for me. Or I like the next one a lot. Not only Ned Flanders raped the word okay with his diddly doodly, Germans also have very weird versions of it that they use from time to time. Honorable mentions would be okidoki or okese. I admit that I like okesa. It's funny because life lesson. Whenever you say it's funny because the thing you're explaining is not actually funny. It's a combination of o and käse, which sounds a lot like käse, literally meaning cheese. And I love cheese, so I'm fine with okesa. All right, how do you say all right in cutified German? The normal version of saying that would be alles klar. And of course you can add chen again to make it extra sweet. Alles klärchen. Or, because there's always a worse thing to say, alles klärchen, bärchen, all clear, little bear. 
Let's talk about how to congratulate somebody for his birthday. If you want somebody to go on his very special day, you can, for example, say Alles Gute zum Purzeltag! Purzeltag! Herzlichen Glühstrumpf! The normal phrases for this would be Alles Gute zum Geburtstag or Herzlichen Glückwunsch. What you just said was Happy Tumble Day or a sincere gas mantle. Thanks! The next phrase I would like to tell you about is Please move a bit. Normally you would say Bitte rück ein Stück. But as you can imagine, there are some cutificators doing their job and it became Stück mal rück. Did you notice? The syllable switch strikes again. Is it funnier this time? No. Oh, and this one. I've heard it so, so often. Instead of saying zum Beispiel, for example, you can say zum Bleistift for pencil. I'm telling you, whenever you're trying to communicate something very complicated, using zum Bleistift gives your explanations this extra professional touch. Not... But not only greetings and phrases can be cutified. You can also do that with food. Instead of die Schokolade, you can use die Schoki. I understand that die Schokolade is a pretty long word and some people want to shorten it. But we don't really need to cutify it though. Isn't chocolate sweet enough? Sorry, this was a very lame joke. I apologize. I think I got inspired by all of these cheesy wordplays. And even coffee cannot hide from its cutification. Instead of saying der Kaffee, you can say das Käffchen. Lass uns doch ein Käffchen trinken gehen. Let's have a little teeny weeny coffee linolito. You see, Käffchen is a pretty cute word, yes. But I just don't like that this makes it sound like we are speaking about a small coffee. I don't want a hen even close to my coffee. More like a mega or hyper in front of it. Give me a super mega hyper coffee this morning, Luigi. It's Monday. Who the frick is Luigi? My brain does so much shit when I improvise parts of a video. And now are you ready to hear my absolute favorite? You can use it when you need to pee. Instead of saying I need to go to the toilet, ich muss mal auf die Toilette, like normal people would do, you could say ich Geh mal für kleine Königstiger. I'm going for little Bengal tigers. I don't think that I have to explain why this is a bit awkward, especially when grown-up men use it. All right, Babbitts, have you heard Germans using these expressions already? Which others do you know? I have many friends and work colleagues that would have to scream guilty when I ask them if they cutified their words from time to time. And it's men and women equally. Maybe even more men. But now let me hear your opinions. Do you like this way of speaking German or do you think it's rather a bit embarrassing? Are there similar cutifications in the language that you speak? And in case you wonder why phrases like Alles Roger in Cambodia didn't make it into today's video, this is because I'm planning another video on that topic. So if you would like to hear more of these kinda embarrassing, unfunny uncle phrases, then let me know in the comments as well. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. You can find another video of Don't Trust a Rabbit here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook or even support the channel on Patreon. This would mean so, so much to me. Now wish you all a beautifully doodly, fully doodly today. Check out my other videos if you'd like to and hopefully we are going to see each other in my next one. Bye!